Mama, you like being in the sun? Outside with Mama? He loves the sun, you guys. I just came out here for the selfies, nothing else. Y'all know how I do. Come to Mommy. Stop squinting your eyes because the sun is too much for you. This is the daily routine. I got this water bottle at Loblaws. I absolutely love it. It came in different colors, but I'm so happy it came in black. It's just so nice and classic and sleek. I just want to start off by saying that I thought I was going to have this like really atrociously bad like hair week because I waved my hair and the difference like my hair is so I don't know if you guys like this but my hair is so picky so it was kind of like damp in some areas but I was just trying to kind of like rush it and I just wanted to like wave it and I didn't want to blow dry it so I left it and a couple of like parts were damp and I'm like no I just need to start like you know straightening and waving it so I straightened it and because like if it's still damp it gets like a little bit of like this greasy feeling and then when you go to wave it no matter how tight you do it the next morning they go completely flat so I did them like literally super tight and I look like Curly Sue and then I woke up looking like Anna Green Gables I don't know what happened there but I thought what was I saying Dory moment again I tell you I have these moments way too often something's wrong like something's wrong you know me I just come up with these like random ideas and I said you know what I'm gonna use the got to be the got to be glue gel you guys, that, that thing's not a joke. Like, if you want to glue your baby to a wall, you use the got to be glue. Like, sometimes because my sideburns, long story, you guys, my sideburns got ruined by somebody. They literally chopped them off and I've been trying to like roll them back. It's really, really bad. For the longest time, I had to use the got to be gel because it was the strongest thing. You literally put a little bit and I would like pull it behind my ears and it was like stuck. Right, so this is the texture spray that I used. I wanted to show you guys. It is by Amika. They sell this at Sephora. I have been using this the most out of all of them, plus their dry shampoo. This texture spray is awesome. It's so light. It's nothing too, too crazy or heavy. It's just called the Undone Texture Spray. And then this is the got to be glue. This is the glue you use if you wanna glue your kids to the wall. This is the one. I'm kidding, okay? I am kidding. I love kids. I'm kidding. Do not glue your kids to the wall, okay? Unless they're getting out of hand. That's what it looks like. So it's just like this very thick white gel. Literally looks like glue. If you guys were born around my time, I'm 28. And in high school, it was all about having like that really crispy gel hair. I feel like this is the more updated, like contemporary version of that sort of look. Because I'm just like so over that wavy, crunchy look. Um, what I did was I really watered this down. Kind of like running my fingers through it. And then I put the texture spray over top. You know when you're like trying something new with your hair. And like, let's be honest, 99% of the time it doesn't come out like... At least for me, it just doesn't. I love what it did. Like, look at that. It's so pretty. I turn it around. Can you guys see what it did there? So nice. Even this side. Look, look at that. It just gives it, like, this, like, really, really nice texture. Today, I can't talk, you guys. Like, I'm doing this vlog, and I keep mispronouncing words. It's, like, really bad. I will link all the products down below, all the hair products that I used. So I'm also going to be opening a package from Forever 21 and then my Adidas bag. I'm actually wearing what I bought from them. So these are the pants I got from them, you guys. The classic like three straight pants. Oh my god, I've been wanting these for the longest time. I'm kind of over the leggings and I want something a little bit more that I can dress up. Like with this, I can wear so many different bodysuits. There's two pockets on the side here, zip up pockets. If you don't like how long they are, honestly, I would just put them in like that. So you see the difference? Have this one, I put it in, and this one is like kind of long. These are also Adidas slides. I will leave a link down below to the pants and also the slides. And these ones I'm actually wearing a size medium. My leg, they're still like, they're pretty fitted with just like a little bit of room. Which they did cost me $85. This is like the perfect pants you wear to like the airport, literally. I'm saying airport because I really hope to like go on a vacation soon. That's why I'm saying that. Ben's in the background there. Say hi, mommy. He got a haircut. Look how handsome he looks. You guys, I can't talk to him without him coming to me. I can't. It's mommy's camera. That's mommy's camera. Oh my gosh. And they really love you. They think, okay. They think you're super, okay. Oh yes, before I forget, a lot of you guys liked my makeup from today. This foundation, it makes my skin probably look the smoothest out of all the foundations that I have. Has my bra been showing this whole time, Bentley? It's very inappropriate. Mommy's bra's been showing this whole time. Which is like, it's like, God bless you. So this foundation I have on my face right now is the Photo Focus Foundation from Wet n Wild. I absolutely love it. They only have it at like certain Walmarts around me. I absolutely love it. And the color that I'm wearing is golden beige. It's definitely very golden. It's if you have like a yellow undertone to your skin. I have a very yellowy, peachy undertone to my skin. I love how smooth. And it almost gives you like this... Um, very feathered look. The Photo Focus Foundation gives you a very feathered look and it's a drugstore foundation. I love how it's like super affordable. My number one pet peeve with makeup, foundation, like foundation hands down, 
is when your face feels like it is clogged. But with this one, I feel very light in my skin. Like I feel very, very light. See that I still have very good coverage. I feel like it still gives like very good coverage. I wouldn't say it's like ultra maximum coverage like the Huda Beauty. But for me, again, I like a more natural look. So if you are like me, where you like the more natural look, you don't need it to be like a full on face. Um, I definitely recommend trying the Photo Focus Foundation. I've recommended it to other people too that are looking for like a really good affordable foundation. So that's what I'm wearing on my face right now. In this vlog, I'm also going to reveal my DNA test results. So they sent me an email with the results and you have to sign in and then they have all of your results on here. It's so cool. So that's what the screen looks like and then you have to click it and oh my god, when I clicked that, I was like, oh my god. So I already, obviously, I already know the results. I'm going to click let's go. Okay, let's lower the music. So the reason why I chose my heritage was because, and I will leave a link down below just in case you guys want to order one. Um, the reason why I chose them is because I saw a lot of good reviews and they go into detail. Like when I saw these results, I was like, wow, they are going way back. They don't just say, oh, you're Portuguese or, or you're from, oh, you're German, blah, blah, blah. No, they say where your roots are from and they like give me an explanation for every single one. So this test is not a joke. Like I, when I go in, I go in. So that's what it looks like. I don't know if you guys can see. So in Europe, I'm 87% from Europe. So I have South Europe, 80%, Iberian, Saudi Iranian, and I'm 4% Greek. I knew some of my heart belonged there. I knew it did. I love their food. It's my number one place that I want to travel to. Like, I just knew it. I just knew it. North and West Europe, 4.8% Finnish. East Europe, it says Baltic, 1.9%. Africa, 12%, North African, 11 West African, Nigerian, 1%. Um, and I am 1% Central American. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Then you can click next, and now it's giving me that 65.6% Iberian. It's giving me like an explanation, so I'm going to read it to you guys. The region of Iberia, which encompasses Spain and Portugal, has been historically shaped by multiple civilizations and distinct populations, starting with the ancient Iberian tribes to modern-day Spanish and Portuguese people. There's a pretty large chance, according to this, that, you know, I'm mixed, I'm Spaniard as well, because that's just where our culture comes from. So, as you can see, they don't just say, oh, you're Portuguese, you know what I'm saying? They say you're Iberian, because that's where it originated from. So... I mean, okay, next. 10% Saudi Iranian. So this one, I'm gonna have a hard time reading it because is that Sar Sar Sardinia? I don't know. Okay, I said Saudi Iranian, but I don't think that's what it is. Are present in other parts of Europe, including the mainland, Italy, Germany, and the UK. And from this descent can also be found in Brazil, Argentina, and North Africa. That's the song they chose for Greek. 4.2% Greek, we're not gonna go through that. 11% North African, let's read this one. Many people from the North African region known as the modern day Morocco, Algeria, Tunisia, am I saying that right? Tunisia, Tunisia, whatever. North Africans share some genetic traits with Southern European neighbors. Wow, it's crazy. Next. 1% Nigerian, 1% Central American. You guys, I'm holding on to this 1% like you have no idea. Let me read it to you. The largest population of Central America, spanning from Mexico to Colombia to Venezuela. <sighs> My life is complete. 1%. A mixture of Spanish, Native American, and African ancestry. Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic, interestingly, have a greater Caucasian population representing European migration. Um, do you like my palm, my palm wallpaper? Hey. I love it. I just love it. That was the results of my test. I'm just, like, I've always wanted to do that, as I mentioned to you guys in my last video. Um, I find it so interesting. I'm so happy I chose them because it looks like they really went in and like went back in history. So it turns out I do have a little Spanish in me. Um, more Spaniard than other, but I do have a little bit of Central America in me. Um, very excited, very excited. My heart is just like it's full now. Like I can, I can live the rest of my life now. Regardless if I'm not like, you know, full Spanish, half Spanish, whatever. At the end of the day, no one can take away the fact that my soul will always 
you know, be with the Latin culture. I love Latin culture. I've been like that ever since I can remember. Literally, like I'm not exaggerating when I say that. Like honestly, if it said that I, I didn't have any at all, it wouldn't matter. It's just such a beautiful culture, not to say other cultures aren't. It's just the one that I feel I fit in the most. I just, I love the music. I love the language. I can't wait to just keep learning more. I, I really have to try to find the time to sit down and keep practicing. The thing I was going to mention to you guys is my camera gave out because, so a lot of you ask me what camera do you use to vlog? I use the Sony A5100. That's the one I'm using right now um, in white. That's the white camera you guys see in my past OOTD photos. I don't use this camera for my OOTDs anymore. A lot of you guys say that you heard that it overheats and it kind of gives out. It's a true fact about this camera. Um, it only happens to me if I'm filming straight for like 20 to 25 minutes. I film all of my clothing hauls with this camera and the reason why it doesn't do that is because I'm showing you guys and then I'm like stop recording and then I'll show you guys and then I stop recording so it doesn't give it enough time to shut off. It only will do it if I'm like doing, I'll never do like a Q&A with this camera, I'll never do like a, a sit down video, you know what I'm saying? Like right now with this vlog the only reason why it shut off was because I was talking to you guys for a long period of time. So just to kind of clear that up, it does do that, this camera does do that. I'm also considering getting the Canon G7X, um, Amy has that one, she absolutely loves it, it's a very popular vlog camera as well so it's something that I am considering but for right now I still love this camera this camera takes like amazing selfies it takes amazing like my mirror photos um, and even Amy will tell you that it takes much better photos this camera over the G7X but for vlogging I feel like the other one might win that battle whereas this one is good for kind of both oh you guys see that color coming through do you guys see that so I got this bodysuit from them. Look at that. It's a straight neck bodysuit and it's in the most perfect coral color. Like it is so adorable. I don't actually have too many straight neck bodysuits and I want more of them. And I figured, you know what? Why not? It's summertime. Let's just like do some color. So size small and it's $11.90. It's your typical like cotton sort of bodysuit. It does come with the buttons at the bottom here. You guys, I just have to show you right here. Look how cute this color looks on me. This with a pair of shorts, jean shorts, like, honey, you wait, honey, wait for it. Look how cute this bodysuit is. Oh my God, it has this twist right at the front over here and it has like this really deep v-neck and it's in a very cream color. It's not like super bright white, but it's like in the perfect cream. It's a size small and it is $20.90. I'll be linking all of this stuff down below, so make sure you guys check it out. Um, hello you guys. These looked so cute online. I'm pretty sure these are high-waisted. They're called their Easy Fit, and it doesn't actually say if it's high-waisted or not. On the girl, they look like they were super high-waisted. They're ripped. I have been wanting a pair of jeans like this. I wanted more of like a comfortable sort of fit. I got these in a size 25. Lately from them, I've been like a size 25 in their stretchy pants. This one is actually not very stretchy. For those of you who are going to buy them from the link down below, they are, I'm stretching them out right now, and it's more of like that stiff jean, like your original Levi sort of jean feel. But I'm gonna try them on right now just to let you guys know if I do like the size 25 because I don't want you guys to not know what to get for yourself. Hey guys, so I just tried them on. <laughs> really horrible. Um, the size 25 is way too small and it's like grabbing me at the side here by my hips and taking them off was such a hard time. They look like they're big, but they're actually not. I think it's because when they're size 25 and then they're stretchy, it's okay, but these ones are very firm. There's like no stretch to these. In order for these to fit me, I know I need a size 27. Like that's how the fit of these ones, I definitely need a 27. I just wanna kinda quickly go over my two bags that I have here from Teddy Blake. The first one that I got was this taupe one and it is more of like a smaller size. I do prefer using the black right now just because even you guys can see my MacBook is actually currently inside of it. I definitely recommend the 14 inch. If you guys have a very busy lifestyle and you guys need to move your laptop back and forth, I do still really love this color. It's like the perfect mushroom color. And then of course my everyday black one. You can never go wrong with the black one. This is from their Caddy collection and it is in the silver. I just wanna let you guys know that my opinion on these Teddy Blake bags are always honest. It's not just because that they said it to me. You guys see all the time that I post photos in my outfits. I'm currently using this black one like every single day because it's definitely my favorite style. A lot of you guys ask me which sizes I have. So in the black one, I have the 14 inch and then in the taupe one, I have the 12 inch. For me personally, they are worth that even though they are a little bit more expensive than your everyday bag, I feel like these bags will never go out of style. I feel like they're just so classic. I will leave a link down below to both of these bags if you guys are interested. And I'll also leave a coupon code down below as well. I'm glad um, some of you brought this up. You guys wanted me to talk a little bit about um, 
how my after experience was with the facial that I got, the detox facial. I even said to Amy, I'm like, do you like, do you realize like what this facial did to us? And she's like, yeah, I'm seeing the difference. Like even she said she sees the difference. My skin is glowing. They extracted my skin. My blackheads are like literally not here anymore. I spoke to them and they recommend us doing it every single month. But I think what we're going to do is try different facials from them because I'm just so curious. I love facials and I love skin treatments. And I just don't want to do the same one. I want to try other ones. And I think we're going to try microdermabrasion next. And I'm so excited because I've been wanting to try this facial for the longest time. I've never felt as pretty without any makeup as I do since after this facial. My skin just looks even. It's just toned and glowing. It's as if somebody literally like just renewed my entire face. And so if you guys are looking into getting a detox facial, I definitely recommend it. Can you guys believe that I'm actually eating strawberries? And thank God for my mixture over here because if it wasn't for this, I would not be able to have them. You who don't know, what I do is I get a pot. I fill it up like halfway with water and make sure that comes to a boil. A metal bowl or you can get a glass bowl and you just put it over top, wait until the chocolate melts. And I literally put half almond milk and I grab a whisk and I kind of mix it up. What I do is I add hazelnuts over top. Basically it for this vlog. Make sure you guys give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Also don't forget to click the subscribe button so that you guys subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and yes I am chewing gum. I'm so sorry. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you babes next time. I love chewing gum you guys. Like I am a gum fan. I love 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 chewing gum. Did you guys know that gum can make you bloated? It actually does blow me but I still love gum.